Good morning everybody, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm giving three cards today and welcome to Friday the 19th. Right, we've got the drum. What does the drum to mean to you? Well, to me it means drumming, dancing to the beat, a call, perhaps somebody might call you today or you need to call somebody else to come and dance to the beat, go out partying, perhaps enjoy life a little bit more. So let's see what the drum means. It's number 15, my lucky number, but one and five is six, so it also means getting balanced. Okay, the essence of the drum. The rhythm of the drum tunes you to the beating heart of the universe. Its wooden frame links you to the trees and helps you journey to the lower world via the roots and the upper world through its branches. The drum skin gives the shaman the powers of the animal kingdom. Striking the drum calls forth the power of the thunder and the rumbling of the earthquake. The drum invites a trance state where healing and prophecy happen, like dancing to the beat, getting your balance, enjoying life, a call, a call for whatever you want to call up, the power of something, the power to heal, the power to succeed, the power to have balance or power to have control in your life, then we have the task or the invitation. The drum invites you to take the next bold step in, in or on your journey. The forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind you. So you're getting support from the divine and the angels. Supporting effortless action. This is not a time to push against the river. So go with the flow guys and girls. The current will take you exactly where you want to go. Once you jump in, collect your power. Like I said, the drum calls in your power. Okay. So collect your power tools and summon your courage because it is going to be a wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life so i will translate this for myself go with the flow let the divine lead you let uh, let the energy of today take you where it's going to take you because you have been manifesting or visualizing um, a dream or a wish and it will take you there either today or it will take you there a part of the way. Okay, beautiful message. So go with the flow and don't stress. Let it happen, don't work against it. Then you have the dog. And the dog in Lenamon means a, a friendship and loyalty and a trustworthy friend. So you might be led to a friend or you haven't seen a friend for a long time and you are going or a friend is going to come towards you or you are going to see a friend today or realizing that you've got a trustworthy and a loyal friend and the luck is on your side. Okay, you've got one 18, so one and eight becomes nine. So there will be an ending, like I said, Go with the flow. It will take you to your goal or your wish today or part of the way. But you're on your way so long you don't uh, fight against the flow. Now, you've got a flea here with a dog mask on it and it is the dog card. So, are you the host? Of, where does your loyalty lie? That is how you can see it. Does the loyalty lie with yourself? Or with your friend does uh, because the dog is the host so the dog 
is he loyal to the flea or is the flea loyal to the dog? Well, you know, the flea is not loyal because he will jump on another host if he thinks he'll have a better life with the other host. So learn from that. What are you, where are your loyalties? Besides the basic meaning of the dog, you know that you have many uh, opportunities or many choices and you know who, which friend you, you, uh, is loyal to you and you are loyal to them. Okay. Don't hold on to friends that are not loyal to you. Look at him, he's got the dog leash on the dog. So let go if somebody is not loyal to you or you can't trust them. Okay, so you've got one, two and three messages. So take the message that resonates with you the best. Then we have <coughs> a postcard from Spirit and I love these cards. And it's called the Lake Flight and it's got a swallow on it. So perhaps you are getting a message from somewhere else, from across the sea. What does the swallow mean to you? Dear you, sorry about my allergies. Dear you, <coughs> there is always more than one side to an argument. Two sides, if not more. They are. Because you've got the flea on the dog. And there's also the, the guy that's holding on to the dog. So where do your loyalties lie? And whose story is the right story? Everybody's got a different opinion. Just remember that. To every story and hundreds of ways to be right. Be different. Be, the, be at odds and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find uh, a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how an other person thinks or how an ultimate plan might be led. Stay out of judgment. Two, observe, discern, but accept that others have a different story. In other words, a different opinion or a different vision or experiences and, and experience the journeys. Uh, and some people might refuse to remain open to an other's point of view. So somebody might not be able to accept somebody else's point of view. And that is what this message is telling you to do. Be open and accept somebody else's opinion or vision. No matter what you've been presented with, a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. So if you have, if you meet somewhere, uh, um, if you meet somewhere to discuss neutral ground and discuss your issue, then you might and you be open to somebody else's idea or vision or perspective, then, um, then you can reach uh, common ground. You can agree on something and perhaps you might learn something new. You are attracting people in situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. With all, yes, we do meet people and friends, right? The friends. I can't, don't know whether you can see because of the sun. They come into our lives, also partners, and they come into our lives and we learn from them and their visions and what they love. And sometimes we outgrow them or they outgrow us. And that's when we go our separate ways. We love you so much.
and that is the message from spirit for you today so be open learn go with the flow be open to have different perspectives told to you or somebody is telling you their perspective and be open to share your perspective you don't have to compromise you just have to be open and listen to what people are saying don't interrupt just listen and then say your meaning this is how you can hold on to friends this is also how you can find out who your loyal and trustworthy friends are and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you tonight as I'm going live. So take care, be blessed and stay safe. Thank you very much for sharing and liking. Take care my darlings. See you later.